Another masterpiece from the Mashamba West Mine in the Katanga. We have a solid uh, crust of um, malachite, which has been intersected with chrysocholi. You see the pale blue to white material going around. This one I would have on a stand going around like this. And what is what is very, very aesthetic about this piece is the artistic underlayer. Uh, all those little formations. Under closer magnification, you'll actually find that... Uh, uh, the the Casa Kala, you'll probably find some patterning in some of the sections. Of course, the reason I have it uh, uh, not at this angle or not at that angle is because we have on top here a lovely vug of malachite crystals, which I'm going to uh, see how close we can get. Note that the malachite is a lovely, lovely dark green. This is pretty accurate, what you're seeing now. Uh, in the still pictures, sometimes it appears a bit black. Now let's have a look at these formations on the sides here. Tend to go to overexpose. Of course, in, when held in, these are best, best enjoyed when held in hand. I actually wonder if there's not some cuprite in these sections as well. There may be a little bit of cuprite there, for instance. I'll, I'll have a closer look under magnification. All the way from uh, the Mashamba West Mine in the Katanga. Of course, famous for super large red cuprites. And of course, uh, uh, malachite, primary malachite. I think here we may have some traces of primary malachite uh, interlinked with the uh, 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 almost a fibrous, small fibrous malachite. And a little bit of a satiny effect to these guys as well as I move it around.